hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i will be showing you that how we can get the ios 15 control center in the ios 12 and the ios 13 and the ios 14 the devices which are currently running on 12 13 14 we can get the ios 15 control center in that iphones without having ios 15 ios 15 will release in the june so we can wait for a while and uh, I'm going to make a video that the supported device list of iOS 15 so make sure you subscribe firstly so let's start without any problem let's proceed you guys can check here this is the my iPhone 5s model and this is currently running on iOS 12.5.2 or the 12.5.1 no matter which iOS version you are running on so let's start I will show you that how this tweak work so in order to get this tweak we must need to jailbreak our iphone how we can jailbreak there are two videos the first one is without computer method the second one is with computer method you can choose your uh, video according to your preference so after jailbreaking Cydia will be installed so now open Cydia so in order to install the tweak prism we just need to open Cydia here and you guys can check out this is the iphone 5s so just hold on it's showing loading so my Cydia successfully opens here and we just need to go to the search bar and just search here prism p r y s m so guys this is the tweak we can install this tweak you can see here this is from the package repo so this is the paid tweak we just need to install the free one this is from the regal repo if this tweak you didn't find in the search results you just need to add a repo in the uh, sources you guys can check here just hold on i have already installed the regal repo you guys can check out this is the regal.ru we just need to add a repo just click on edit here and just hit on add button here so after adding repo we can just search for prism and it will be installed so just hit on install button and it will be uh, click on confirm and it will download so just hold on let it wait for download and after downloading click on the start springboard and after restarting your iphone iOS 12 device will convert it into the iOS 15 control center mode. You guys can check out my let me turn on my iPhone here. As you guys can see here, I'm using iPhone X like swipe up gestures. So that's why uh, the control center will uh, I will bring control center from the top right hand side of the screen. So uh, it will just uh, show in the from the bottom side. So let me unlock my iPhone here. So you guys can check out that I'm using iPhone X like gestures if you want if you want to get the these gestures in your iPhone link will be available in description of that video you can go and check out and watch that you can, can see here I will just swipe down and it will to show the control center of the S15 uh, in the S15 it will show more controls but right now this is the available thing so we can just swipe up to get the more features you can see here is the resume media or I can say the music controls option here the do not disturb low power modes screen uh, which, which means that screen recording is the live listening camera calculator and the timer and you guys can check here auto lock or rotation lock orientation lock i can see that so the do not disturb mode is here this is the driving mode this is the screen mirroring this is the flash mode there is the personal hotspot data connection airplane mode bluetooth wi-fi brightness and the volume you guys can check here this is the uh, more fluid than the normal one but right now uh, i think that as 14 or as 12 control center is more natural than this one so with more updates or with more bug fixes it will be more impressive and pretty than the other one so you can get you can just simply uh, swipe left side to decrease the brightness and volume you guys can check here uh, so this is thing you can also get the battery percentage at the top right hand side you guys can check here you can just disable the wi-fi connection and the animation is almost the same but it little bit slow than the normal one so low power mode and you guys can see here my iphone just go to the low power mode so the working is same if you want to change all these uh, toggles you can change according to your settings we just need to go to the settings button here if you want to do some changes in the tweak we can go to settings and find here prism and we can enable some settings or we can disable some tweaks or some changes we can do changes here we can also disable the battery percentage height, height percentage show indicators indicator layout we can change some settings so this is the simple way we can get the s15 control center in the iphone which is not running on s15 basically we can get the feature of the latest update in the older iphones so thanks for watching guys stay tuned please subscribe my channel thank you